Hi, I want to suggest to all my friends on Facebook that they stop using the word race, and I'll tell you why. It's not because I'm a white supremacist and I want to ignore the problems of ethnophobia. It's because I want those problems to go away. Ethnophobia is justified or unjustified fear of another culture. Now, right away, I've made enemies because the PC people among you will say, you should never be afraid of other cultures. Well, there have been times when other cultures were trying to destroy one culture or another, but that's not what I'm talking about. If your neighbor has a religious ritual where he sets his backyard on fire and it causes you to cough, you may start to dislike elements of his culture. That could cause ethnophobia. It's just a silly example, right? But it's, it's an exemplary example. It's indicative of what I'm trying to say. The trick and the lie that many of us have fallen victim to, even really good people, is they think that those cultural and ethnic differences can be attributed to race, either on purpose or by mistake. They betray or they show this ignorance by using the word race. Your neighbor who sets his lawn on fire every month as part of a religious ritual, he's not that way because of his DNA. That's what race means. Now, the anthropologists out there are going to get all high and mighty, and they're going to say, that's not true. Race actually encompasses an idea of some biological traits and cultural practices. Yeah, we know, but the original coining of the word race during Victorian times was done so to explain the dark-skinned African tribes and to justify subjugating those people and controlling them. And so the idea was put forth and accepted that they were a different race. They weren't. The mapping of the genome in the last few years has proven that we are one race on this planet. There has not been another species or subspecies is what it would have to be for you to be different because you're Japanese or black. There hasn't been another subspecies species since Cro-Magnons and Neanderthal lived together. Right now, every one of you out there is a member of the same race. It really means species. So, if we keep saying that there is this problem of racism, we are ignorantly or intentionally saying that there are different races on this planet of human beings. There aren't. There's only one, Homo sapiens. The reason we look different is groups of us tend to keep mating among our local population and we look different and have those differences in genetics, which are slight. They're like the differences between a tabby and a calico cat. We have them because we were part of a population that stayed in a geographic area with certain environmental conditions for thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of years until it turns into hundreds of thousands and millions. So if you want to eliminate the problems that people have, start talking about the real problems that you have with them, the cultural problems. That's okay. That's not racist. That's ethnic. And ethnicity problems exist. Race problems do not. Now, finally, some of you might say, oh, race problems do exist because some people believe in race. Well, you're not helping them by using the, d the dumb word, race. Stop using the word. It would be like going out and holding up a sign and saying, I'm against breeding with the Martians. I'm an anti-Martianist. There are no Martians. You can't be an anti-Martianist unless you're a character on a 1950s TV show or you're somebody from Star Trek or Star Wars. It doesn't exist. There is no race among humans. So when you're concerned about somebody who's judging others, realize he or she is judging others because he doesn't like something that those people do or he doesn't like their practices. And he may think they come from a different genetic origin, but those genetic differences are superficial. They have nothing or very, very little to do with the way he lives or she lives. Our ethnic differences come from our cultural practices, nothing else. And those are taught and learned, and we can negotiate about those.
So for all of you out there who think you're not a racist, you are if you use the word.